Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about powdery mildew. It's very distinct. It looks like just a white coating on your leaves and it could be found on pretty much any plant. Uh, there's some plants it does prefer, uh, certain crepe myrtles, if they're not resistant varieties. Uh, the shrub called Euonymus could have it year round. Begonias, uh, your cucurbits, your squash, and pretty much anything goes. So if you have a white dusting on your plants, especially coming out of winter and spring, most likely it's powdery mildew. Um, a lot of times, this is the thing, is once temperatures warm up and it dries out, uh, plants outgrow it. So just sort of monitor it, but if it continues on your, your leaves as temperatures dry and warm, then yes, it is time to take action. Uh, some species of powdery mildew actually will die if you sprinkle water on them, but unless you could sort of culture it, you don't know what type you get. So just assume that you don't wanna add moisture to your leaves. Now at the conservatory, my go-to is uh, dusting sulfur. Sulfur is a natural fungicide. Now you can buy dusting sulfur. You just wanna wear a mask and goggles because it gets airborne um, and just sprinkle it on try to do it in the morning before the heat comes there's also a liquid a sulfur you could spray all over the plant as well uh, something else i've been using at the conservatory just recently is this product the brand name is called circadian sunrise it's actually a corn oil and a peppermint oil base and i've been using it on powdery mildew for uh, begonias and other plants inside and it's actually working really well and of course it's organic um, there's another organic product called Serenade. This is a bacillus. So this one's Bacillus subtilis, and it works to control powdery mildew by spraying. And it actually isn't as harsh on plants during the heat of summer. So uh, some oils can burn if you apply it when the sun is at its peak, but so Serenade actually works as well. Um, good old neem oil, but remember it is an oil. So apply in the morning uh, before it the sun gets too intense. And yes, even baking soda. But remember, this is salt-based sodium bicarbonate. So you don't wanna keep adding it to your plants. It could actually end up in the soil. Um, and if you apply it too many times on your leaves, it can affect the leaves. But say you don't wanna leave your house, um, you can. And a um, little bit sprayed on the plant mixed in with some soap will help it. But don't. this wouldn't be my go-to. This would just be say, you're not gonna be able to get to the hardware store for a while, then you could use this. Uh, but really most of the time, it's just going to outgrow itself once temperatures dry and heat up. But if it doesn't, these are perfect remedies uh, to control it.